S block elements. We have studied in periodic table classification of uh, elements in periodic table. We have studied about S block, P block, D block, and F block. And today we'll start our class with S block elements. So S block uh, S block elements are those elements um, that last uh, in that the last electron enters into the S orbital. Means the outermost orbital that participates in bond formation or which have an unpaired electron that is s orbital as the s orbital can be contained only two electrons so two groups one and two belongs to the s block first is the lithium family then is the beryllium family okay next the general electronic configuration of s block elements is ns1 to one or two when uh, in, when we talk about ns1 so that is alkali metals when we talk about the ns2 that is alkali earth metals okay so let's just start our uh, chapter with the first group that is alkali metals that is lithium family so in this group elements have one electron in their valency shell they do not occur in the negative or free state these elements are collectively known as the alkali metals because their oxides and hydroxides form strong alkalis like NaOH or KOH, sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide, and so on. Lithium is known as the bridge element. The general characteristics of these alkali metals are first, let's just start with the basic one, that is the electronic configuration. So the basic electronic configuration is N as one. N is the number of participation cell. For example, one for in hydrogen, first cell is participating. So one as one will be the electronic configuration. And N as two means lithium. Say will be two S. Okay, like in helium, in helium that will be two S. Next, let's just come to the lithium. The next S will participate, and then so on. Okay, so let's we can say this thing that in lithium, two S second shell is participating in sodium, third shell is participating in potassium, fourth rubidium, fifth cesium, four S, and then uh, sorry six S, and in francium seven S. As we go down the group, the number of shells increasing from two, three, four, five, six, and seven S. Okay, next the atomic radii. So atomic radii, the alkali metals have the biggest atomic radii in their respective periods. Atomic radii increase as we go down the group due to the addition of new cells in each subsequent step. All these have been lattice with coordination number four. As you can see that this is, we can say a general S and P block elements, hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen. So why this these alkali metals have the biggest atomic radii? Because of the participation of the large number of shells. For example, if we talk about in a general way, hydrogen, the one S participate in helium, two S participate. Okay. And let and when it just come to like lithium, the size increase. Lithium, pinnate, borulin, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine. After that, to sodium is 186. So they uh, shows a large atomic radii. Okay, they have the large atomic radii because of the large number of shells uh, or the large number of electrons in the atomic shells. Okay. Next, ionic radii. So ionic radii of the alkali metals are much smaller than their corresponding metals due to the lesser number of shells and contractive effect of the increased nuclear charge. The ionic radii of these alkali metal ions go on increasing when moving down the group, right? So as you can see, the atomic radii is 150 to picometer of lithium, but the ionic radii is 60 picometer. Sodium is 186 and uh, sodium ion is 95 picometer. Why? Because they lose the electron. And whenever they lose the electron, means the atomic ionic radii reduces. Okay. The beryllium, 11 one, one picometer, uh, 111 picometer, but beryllium ion is 31 picometer, 160 picometer for magnesium, and 65 picometer for uh, magnesium ion. But in case of halogen or the non metals, the ionic radii increases because they accept the electron which led to the increase in the ionic radius, right? So for example, this is the fluorine. 
it accepts the the normal atomic radii is 64 picometer but the ionic radii of fluorine is 136 picometer for chlorine the atomic radii is 99 picometer and the chlorine ion has 181 picometer ionic radii so whenever the metal elements or the ions forms there will be a change in the ionic radii okay and uh, the ionic radii of of all these alkali metal ions go on increasing on moving down the group now density these are light metals with low density lithium is the lightest known metal on moving down the group the density increases from lithium to silver so when we go down the group the density keep on increasing and lithium is the lightest metal this is because down the group both the atomic size and atomic mass increases but the effect of the increasing of the atomic mass is more as compared to the increase in the atomic size so the density of potassium is lesser than that of the sodium because of abnormal increase in the uh, in increase in the atomic size when we move down the group from sodium to potassium so there there is an exception where the this variation changes actually okay melting and boiling point the melting and boiling point of alkali metals are quite low and decrease down the group due to the weakness of metallic bond so if r is liquid at room temperature this is the when chum is uh, liquid at room temperature this is exception here softness so they these are soft malleable and ductile solid which can be cut with knife in eighth class we have studied that the softest metal on earth is sodium is just cut like uh, butter with a knife okay butter is quite soft and if you want to uh, just put that the butter on your bread so we can cut it easily with the help of knife so it is like a sodium metal so sodium metal can be cut easily with knife they possess metallic luster when freshly cut due to the oscillation of electron okay next is the atomic volume the atomic volume of alkali metal is the highest in each period and goes on increasing down the group from the uh, from top to the bottom when we go down the group the atomic volume of the elements or atoms get increased oxidation state the alkali metal shows only positive one oxidation state plus one oxidation state because they have one electron to lose in their outer motion and the property of metal is to lose electron so whenever when element lose electron positive sign will be there so they have only one electron and has tendency to lose electron so that is why the they shows plus on oxidation state because their unipositive ion attains the stable suitable or stable noble gas electronic configuration the alkali metal ion attain noble gas configuration when no unpaired electrons So let they are diamagnetic in nature. So alkali metals, however, have paramagnetic nature due to one unpaired electron. And we know this thing that when paramagnetism is like uh, they just behave as a magnet. Uh, when we put it into a magnetic field, they just complete the circuit. And when we you remove it from the magnetic field, they just come to, into their original state. And that happens because of the unpaired electrons, right? So paramagnetic character is means. they are attracted by the magnet or they just behave as magnet when put into the magnetic field diamagnetic is like insulated like they do not behave like magnet or they do not attracted by the magnetic field and diamagnetism is due to the unpaired uh, uh, you know presence of paired electron and paramagnetic is due to the presence of unpaired electron next is the ionization enthalpy ionization enthalpy The first ionization enthalpy of the alkali metal is lower among as the elements in their respective periods and decreases on moving down the group. The second ionization enthalpy of all the alkali metals are very high because by releasing an electron, the ion acquires noble gas configuration. So removal of second electron is difficult. Right? Electropositive character due to the low ionization enthalpy, alkali metals are strongly electropositive. or metallic in nature and electropositive nature increases from lithium to cesium due to the decrease in ionization enthalpy next is 
hydration of soil it means hydration and healthy you can say so the decrease of hydration depend upon the size of the cation smaller is the size of the cation the greater is the hydration and healthy so if you want to find out the relative decrease of hydration that will be like when we go down the group the hydration and healthy decreases so for lithium ion hydration is more than uh, lesser and then for sodium potassium rubidium and cesium next is flame coloration we know this thing that every and each element has its unique color unique flame when we burn it it will show a different flame for example the flame of lpg a liquefied petroleum gas which is used as a fuel in household work so that flame is blue and if you want to burn a wax or candle it shows a multicolored flame like slightly it look like a yellow color flame but when we go deeper into the zones of the flame it has a multicolored flame orange yellow blue black okay so alkali metals and their salt impart characteristic color to the flame because the outer electron get excited to the higher energy level okay and when that energy uh, when that electron return to its original state the original ground state it releases a visible light in the form of flame okay and these uh, it releases visible light of characteristic wavelength which provide a color to the sad flame okay whenever the electron loses its energy it come back to its original ground state from excited state and that energy is released in the form of specific color of specific wavelength of light so that provide a color to the flame okay so lithium is red okay lithium red which has a wavelength of 670.8 sodium is yellow potassium is violet rubidium is violet red violet and cesium is blue next is the photoelectric effect you know that the photo what is photoelectric effect whenever an uh, light or just uh, when we just put a beam of light on an atom or element so the free electron just absorb that energy and leave the uh, atom vicinity right so that is known as the photoelectric effect because that light transfers its move energy to that moving electron and after gaining that electron the electron leave the vicinity of the atom and it causes the photoelectric effect this thing we have learned in our previous chapter so due to a very low ionization enthalpy alkali metals especially cesium Exhibits the photoelectric effect, that is, eject electron when expo exposed to the light, so it is used in the photoelectric cell, or we can say the solar panel. So, if someone asks you that, name the metal which is used in the solar panel, that is cesium, because when ever the sunlight, uh, just uh, when the sunlight is uh, Uh, adopted by, or you can say, when the sunlight fall on that solar panel, the cesium atom, that uh, electron, you know, absorb that energy, and that electron will leave the vicinity of that plate and will be collected in a battery or somewhere else, in or some into some cells in which we want to collect. Okay, so this is the photoelectric effect. Now, electrical conductivity. due to the presence of loosely held valency electron which are free to move throughout the metal structure the alkali metals are good conductor of heat and electricity alkali metals are good conductor of electricity because of unpaired electron and when we go down the group the group electrical conductivity improves because of the increase in size the charge the force that exists between the outermost electron and the nucleus become reduced okay and this led to the easy removal of that electron okay the electrical conductivity increases from top to bottom in the order lithium to sodium potassium rubidium and cesium next is reducing character all the alkali metals are good reducing agent due to their low ionization and enthalpy the reducing character follow that order sodium to potassium to rubidium cesium and lithium so these are um uh, these are highly reducing agent or you can say the good reducing agents okay they can reduce any element by by uh, just donating its electron to that element okay 